Hello, thank you for stopping to take a look at my research. I am Dr. Brianna Jackson, visiting assistant professor at Pratt Institute in New York City. The subject of this poster concerns Amenhotep III, his deification as a sun and moon god and worship thereof, and how his post-mortem cult may have influenced the preservation of lunar cult during Akhenaten's reign. This poster and video can only touch on the points I aim to discuss more thoroughly in an article. Amenhotep III ruled from 1390 BCE until 1352 BCE, and in the 30th year of his reign, he deified himself as a sun god with the epithet Dazzling Sun Disk, but he also deified himself as a moon god named Nebmaatre, Lord of Nubia. Nebmaatre was his throne name. The temple he dedicated to himself as a moon god was built at a site called Soleb in Sudan. Um, after his death, his son Amenhotep IV, who later changed his name to Akhenaten, took the throne and continued to venerate his father as a god in both his solar and lunar aspects. Early in his reign, Akhenaten established a new religion that centered around the sun disk in the sky called Aten, seemingly to the exclusion of other gods. In Akhenaten's fifth regnal year, he established a new capital called Horizon of the Sun Disk, now called Amarna, which became the primary cult site of his god Aten. But evidence, some of which I present on the poster, indicates lunar cult was still practiced even at Amarna. In a nearby site, Hermopolis, the cult site of a lunar baboon god called Thoth, Amenhotep III had erected colossal statues of himself in the form of baboons, connecting him again to lunar cult. One argument I propose is that the site of Amarna was in part selected because of its proximity to Hermopolis. Amarna was a site for the sun and Akhenaten, Hermopolis was the site for the moon and deified Amenhotep III. I think the two may have been theologically linked and maintained the duality of sun and moon, as well as maintained the cult of Amenhotep III. I very much look forward to pursuing this further, and I hope you enjoyed this snapshot of my research. Go ahead and scan the QR code in the bottom left corner, and it will take you to a web page with a digital copy of this poster, a list of references, and more. Questions and comments? very welcome. Thank you. Bye.